Ooh, it's a windy one. Airy sleeves and airy tights. I'm in here. Somewhere. Where's Tristan? Well, whilst we'll wait for Tristan then, wherever he may be, it's just after 12.30 on a Saturday. It's April. We're gonna go do some training. Tristan's now coached by Josh Hunt of Neo Pro Coaching. And he's got some quite interesting looking intervals. So one of us is gonna suffer and I'm gonna be on Tristan's wheel. Don't know who's gonna do the suffering. I think it'll be me trying to chase him, actually. Tristan's also got the memo to dress like quick, fast clothes for a fast ride. It's windy, it's cold. Spring arrived, spring's gone. And now we're just getting back into the routine of, Tristan's already started racing. I'm yet to start racing, still recovering. Did some efforts yesterday, which was nice, finally. I'm looking up the road to see where he is. He'll be here in a minute. We are gonna go off for a couple of hours, do some intervals, get a bit of a story, get a catch up with Tristan, who started racing already. He won his first race last weekend by seven minutes. Who wins bike races by seven minutes? That was a mountain bike race up in um, Gramacum in Devon. I wanna wait here, catch my breath until he arrives. We just spoke on the phone, so I know it's not gonna be too long. Go for a pedal. So I'm slowly recovering from illness. And you know, the really funny thing about that is in the past, I would have been really panicking, but it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Like I don't need to panic and rush back into training. There aren't a huge amount of events in the coming weeks over Easter or anything like that. So no stress, just ease back into it and then build towards what will hopefully be a bit of a fun summer. We've already planned the trip to the Netherlands, to Belgium. And I'd really love if it works out to do a, an amateur race over there which I used to love doing when I was a bike rider. That sound isn't Tristan, that sounds like a car to me. If it is Tristan, I'm in for a surprise. So yeah, things like that, that's what I need to train for. And we've got a team time trial coming up. We're also doing some really bizarre ride that Alex has decided that we should do in May. I'll tell you more about it at the time, but it's a, it's a really a race over 28 hours, which um, would all be hosted on commute, so that'd be good fun. Definitely not Tristan. Tristan runs on special time. We'll talk about that in a minute. Take your time and add, I reckon about 17 minutes. Let's have a look at the time. 17 minutes, and that's uh, the kind of time that Tristan's living on. Eight so far, so I've got nine, nine more minutes to wait. What should we talk about for nine minutes? It's new kit day today. Dressed, overdressed. The temperature here, right now, fire the temperature is 12 degrees. So much warmer than the forecast said, which is amazing. Cars coming from both directions. Get out of the road. Cyclists with cameras. 12 degrees, long sleeve under vest. The thin one, the lightweight Lacole one. An Aero Pro long sleeve jersey, Pro Aero long sleeve jersey, which will be fast. We're gonna need that in a minute. And then the all weather, the Pro all weather jacket or the all weather Pro jacket over the top. It's lovely and warm. It's also nice and bright. I was told not to wear navy blue as often, so I'm not. Here he is, stealth man dressed in black. Oh, he sabotaged his aero tights by putting the socks over the top. Looks better. You need to look like that. <laughs> but it is slowing him down, so he's going to pay for that in a minute. Hi Tristan, how's it going? Good. I like that. That is nice. I was just saying, I haven't seen you in a video. But what I meant to say was, I haven't seen you in a video. I've seen you many times every week. Yeah. And we've ridden together a lot, but I haven't made a video. Every time I take my camera out, it ends up getting putting, ends up getting put back, having not completed something, doesn't it? Mm. We have done some fairly windy rides as well though. Yeah, I think that's partly the trouble. And then I got ill, and then we did e-mountain biking. I don't think my audience is as interested in that. Maybe not, no. Uh, I had a question for you. Tell right. us about your race. Oh. I've already introduced the fact you won by seven minutes. No, don't. <laughs> you gotta cut that out. That's not true. Oh, is it not? No. You told me you won by seven minutes. Well, I thought I had, but that was my nan's timing. <laughs> so I hadn't. I'd won by, um, I beat second elite by seven minutes. So that was true. Oh, I will take that. Um, you can only beat your category, right? Yeah. Officially. How's, how's your training gone? Good. Yeah. Uh, I've not, I've ridden every day this week. I'm not meant to have done. <laughs> but I've taken out the trail bike and ridden on the, on the rest days just to take photos and stuff. But I have gone easy. Um, but the sessions have been good. Yeah, more intense stuff at the moment, so. Nice, let's go and do it. Come on, and stand around chatting all day. Mm. Whoa! Yeah.
Make you look like I'm chasing you. Hey? <laughs> half wheel you the whole time. No, don't half wheel me. <laughs> My saddle was so high. Hey. I put my saddle too high. Oh, I've got an arm deep when we adjust it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, All my other ones are better, higher than that. I can't even speak. <laughs> I did go as hard as I could though. I did. I couldn't change gear at the start after that. I got 753, so I was lower than that. I was in 300. But then I think it suits me going downhill. Maybe, yeah. Whereas for you, you can probably tell from the camera there's 20 kilos between us. <laughs> what are you now? Exposure. 79? Quite. Maybe not quite. I'm 60, I'd actually know 62 I think. 62, the camera adds two kilos. Yeah. <laughs> Tristan the weatherman says there's only showers, so we're going to be fine. I'm going to put the camera away. Put my jacket on. See you in a bit. We're going to get into our second interval. It's rained. My hands are cold. I just said to Tristan, it's exactly that feeling on my thighs that reminds me of racing when it was cold and grim. And actually, I don't miss it when it feels like that. I miss it when I feel good and I feel comfortable. Tristan could taste blood. That's well, good. I, I thought I was having a nosebleed. But oh. <laughs> no, you're just suffering. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which is worse. No, I think I'd rather have it the nosebleed. <laughs> Well, another 12 minutes. We've got a nice steady incline out of Port Tower, up towards Mount Hawk and back towards where we met earlier. You ready? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I gotta to apologize to the Tristan for sitting on for four of the five efforts. I don't get as hard as I could for the last. Here we go. Oil, oil. <laughs> There's no chance of that. I could not on today's legs, go any harder. 818 watts, that'll do. Help Tristan. I did have a good lead out, like, It was a perfect lead out for 20 seconds and I was like, oh cool. <laughs> I did the same thing as the other ones, just went as hard as I could at the start pretty much. Not a well, while, probably 90% at the start. And then, but, oh, I've only done 30 seconds and then Chris comes around. <laughs> I used to like sprinting, Tristan. Should we go? Oh, I can't even move my arms. Cheers for that, Josh. That was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> my sporadic training. Riding hard when it's fun is good, quite enjoy it. It's not very constructive for fitness, but it'll do. Beaten again. <laughs> but I sat on for four or five. Yeah, well, well, It's a big difference. <laughs> In fact, eight out of 10. It's not even four out of five. Though my legs were struggling that time again. All of them, to be honest, today it just felt, I'm not struggling, I didn't feel bad, but. Are you eating loads of flies? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, it's because you're training hard, you got a race coming up, so you're freshening up for them. Yeah, just, it just felt like, like loads of lactic acid, but really pumped up. Although it's good for the confidence when you do the effort. And actually, you always go, look down. If I look down and you're like, <laughs> my thighs are like <laughs> three mil juicier than normal. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, that may have been a bad effort, but my legs look good. 
At least in my head they do. <laughs> Everyone watching that, oh, what a little twigs on his legs. Juicy, juicy thighs, Tristan is a new nickname. No, not juicy thighs. <laughs> you called yourself that? I'm running on adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> adrenaline plus oxygen uh, equals delusion. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of flies here right now. Sort of adrenaline Look, actual flies. Flies, snot, sweat, suffering. Quickly to the camera, I say, Tristan, here's it as well. Here's it, not here is it. Here's it. I used to have a teammate used to say, some days you go fishing, some days you just mend the net. Like when you have bad days, you just soak them up, you cope with them, deal with them, get through them. And they're the ones that allow you to have the better days later. Mm. And also, it's really unfair me doing that to you. <laughs> Good for me. One minute efforts were my out and out strength by a long way. Yeah. Like head and shoulders about anything else I could do. Unfortunately, I never did a race that was one minute long. <laughs> that was my issue. Try. I do wonder sometimes. But then I didn't like riding around in circles, so well, no. it wouldn't have fulfilled me. So there we go. It's nice to see you again, Tristan, on a video. Yes. I'm not sure it will be for me. I'll look back at the footage and just hate myself this evening. <laughs> we'll try and edit it and make it look really good. Yeah. Edit me to look funny. It's a fox. I've lost my voice, Tristan. You making me chase you. Oh, but that's gone, hasn't it? It's really gone. I'm not yeah. sure if it is the intervals or the flies, but either way, it's really hard to speak. We're going to Mount Hort Skate Park tonight. We've we've booked with a group of our friends two hours in the skate park. Oh right. So, you have to book. Yeah, like a private session. Oh right. Cool. So it's completely closed to everyone. Just just a load of adults and kids on bikes and scooters and skateboards and roller skates and skateboards. What else could you take to a skate park? So no, that's it. I think I've exhausted it. Probably. So I'm yeah, going to go don't home. Take a, don't take a scooter. I'm not taking. I'm taking the easy up. <laughs> they don't like scooters. Well, it's only our friends now, though. Hey, it's only my friends. Oh, you booked the whole thing. Yeah. Oh right. I hopefully my friends don't beat me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not, if I'm not here next week, you'll Still know that I did. <laughs> <laughs> my friends are beating me up. Oh well. There we go. So I'm going to go home, rest, get everything ready for that. Mm. But otherwise, what bike are you going to take? Easy. Oh right. Yeah. Blow everything up really, really hard so it rolls quickly. With the motor or without? Without the motor. Yeah. I think I started saying earlier that in the past I would have always tried to rush, just really stressed about how fit I was or how fit I'm not. It's so much easier when it's not your career. Just ease back into things and it's so important after illness as a person, a human, just to take time. There's no need to rush. Look at my uh, ride data, being a nerd. There's no need to rush to get back, back to fitness. Take your time, allow your body to recover properly. Like, there are so many secondary illnesses and infections that you can get if you try to rush back into training. There's just no need. So instead, ride gently. Like I've been riding my e-bike loads, keep the intensity really low, so at least I can continue to train. All the lacrosse sessions that we do, been doing it about 50% of intensity, a little bit above 60% maybe. Just taking time to get back to fitness and then we can get back to training properly before you know it, get into the events that we're hoping to do this year. Still out of breath after doing that effort. It's just such a bad idea. Doing a, uh, wasn't quite maximum today because I think the maximum had long been wrung out of my legs today. But hopefully bit by bit, we'll get back to where we were a few weeks ago. It's been really quite painful watching my fitness trends drop on exert which is where i like to track that just to see the ftp and things like that like functional th threshold power just watching those changes it was amazing to watch them grow throughout the start of the year get to a level which they've not been for years if ever obviously being a little bit heavier means a little bit more power is needed but get back to racing get back to some events this year thank you very much for watching see you in another video soon we're off to the skate park tonight if you're interested in that sort of thing, let a comment, drop a comment below. We'll try and capture a little bit of it and show you what we got up to. See you in the next one.